Hey guys, welcome back to BJ Tech News and this is Bernardo. So today's uh, video is actually, I'm going to show you guys how to do a RAID 1. Now you're basically saying to yourself, what is a RAID 1? Uh, RAID 1 in the IT world is basically, uh, you have two hard drives and you combine them into the way that it does a mirror. Okay, so you got your C and your D, uh, your C drive basically does a mirror copy of itself on the D drive. Uh, a lot in the tech world, a lot of us do RAID 5 because it's a safe bet and basically you have three or more hard drives. If one fails, you can basically remove and your machine is still running with no problem. Purchase a new one, slap it in, rebuild itself and you're good to go. Uh, I'm going to show you a RAID 1 because I actually had to do a RAID 1 recently for a machine. I only had two bays and uh, two hard drives. I inserted two two hard drives, and just to take the pre uh, take the take the precaution approach, uh, I did a mirror because that's the only thing I could do. So, as my virtual machine, I got my my disk O and I got my disk one. My disk one is uh, hasn't been configured it's offline right now. Uh, what I'm going to do is going to go to view top, and I like to get the disk list. I like to view it this way because it looks pretty cool. Ah. And uh, first thing you need to do, you want to put this guy online, okay? And it's not initialized, so we can initialize the disk. We well, do want an MBR. Uh, make sure that it's in the same format as your disk one. See, in the disk one right here on the top is MBR. Uh, press OK. That's good. Now, what you want to do right here, right click, and you want to convert to a dynamic disk. Now, you want both of them to convert to a dynamic disk. Uh, convert. It's gonna blah 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 blah. Jiggity jiggity. Uh, before I do that, I'm gonna right click and add mirror, which is there, which is cool. But uh, you gotta make sure that you convert your stuff into a dynamic disk. Um, I don't really know why. I think I was shown how to do this. So for me, best practice is supposed to be like that. I'm hoping this got converted to a dynamic disk too. Did it? I don't think it got converted to a dynamic. Oh yes, it did. Ooh, sorry, yes, it did. Ha <laughs> uh, I think I could do add a mirror, disk one. So I do it again. Uh, as you can see, you know, I right click on disk zero, uh, and I did a convert, uh, convert to a dynamic disk. Make sure that disk zero and disk one is selected. It converts. If you're doing this on a physical machine, most likely you need a reboot for it to take effect. But it looks like on a virtual machine, I don't need a reboot. So that's pretty cool. Uh, once you do that, you can right click anywhere, right click on your primary drive, do it add mirror. Uh, you want to select your disk one, add a mirror, and that's about it. I think that's it. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, eventually these two things will change to red, as you, <laughs> as you just saw. Red just uh, gives you an indication that it's a mirror volume. Uh, pretty soon it's going to start, it's already resyncing. Uh, pretty soon you're going to see a percent sign right there indicating 1%, 2% that it's grabbing everything on the C drive and uh, doing a, a sync to it. Uh, and that's about it guys. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this, this quick video, uh, how to do a RAID 1. Um, I would like to get some feedback from you guys and to see what you guys actually do on your end. Do you ever do a RAID 1 like I did? Uh, it's really rare for our tech guys to do a RAID 1 in the office, but again, you have to take the proactive approach and do something for your server. You just can't have one hard drive and not be safe on it. You never know if it fails. Uh, but I know a lot of uh, offices normally do like a RAID 3 or a RAID 5. I want, I want to get your, your, your input on, uh, on creating RAIDs and what do you do? Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoy this episode. Not really episode, just a video. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.